Hey guys, welcome back to Duke Clark, and I want to talk about an Android hacking group that's making $500,000 per day. I've read this um, article on the Hacker News, you can check it out in the description and read it for yourself. If you own an Android smartphone, and I'm talking about um, Google Android, so the Android smartphone, not, not iPhones or Blackberry, this is just for the Android smartphone. Well, hackers can secretly install malicious apps, games, and pop-up adverts on your smartphone remotely in order to make money off of your phone. This got leaked by um, China Mobile. It's this um, big internet mobile company in China. So they discovered this app, this Trojan, and it's called The Hummer. And what it would do, it would install malicious apps, games, or even porn apps onto your phone. And the advertisements would help them make $500,000 a day. So this was discovered actually in 2014. It started to gain more attention in 2016, that's why I'm talking about it right now. The Trojan actually infected 1.4 million devices. 63,000 infections occurring daily in China, according to this research team. Well, the Trojan, the Hummer, installs a new app on the infected device. Every time an ad pops up on your phone, they make um, 50 cents per ad. So this is how they're making $500,000 per day this is just unbelievable this is crazy that's like 15 million dollars per month guys imagine making that much money that would be actually i, I would actually want to make that, that app actually but no this is bad guys five hundred thousand dollars per day and this trojan you can't get rid of this trojan because it's, it's very hard to do because even when you factory reset your phone you know how you um, clear data and factory reset. This Trojan, it will actually root itself into the device operating system. So even when you factory reset your phone, it'll still be there. It'll reinstall itself and it'll start installing other apps onto your phone. So this is very hard to get rid of. It's almost impossible to uninstall. So it's using your mobile data if you're using mobile data. And this app, there's fake versions of this app. So if you go online, you install like game off of um, a website, an untrusted website or um, mobile app that you think that is safe, but it's not safe. So let's say you go online and you download um, a Facebook app or a Twitter app because your country doesn't support that app. Well, that could be a fake app because when you install that, right when you click install, it will start installing other Trojans in the background and it's gonna make ads pop up on your phone and you can't get rid of it. It's like having a infection on your computer like when ads would automatically pop up somewhere and you can't get rid of it. And it's hard for, um, you know, if, if you use ABG antivirus on your phone or mal malware bytes or something like that, it's hard for the virus protector to get rid of it because it thinks that the Trojan is part of the phone. It affected about 154,000 people in India, 92,000 in Indonesia, 63,000 in Turkey, 63,000 in China, and 59,000 in Mexico. And they don't have the numbers for the US and European um, countries, but they're going to release it soon. So Android mobile platform has been the target of the attackers because it's very easy to exploit the Android because it is an open source operating system. That's why it's so easy. But if you own an Apple device, um, you're safe for now. I'm sure that there, there are fake apps on the App Store because there's actually quite a bit of fake apps that Apple had to remove from the App Store that was stealing people, password for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So that's it guys, this is very interesting. Android hackers making $500,000 per day, incredible. So that's it and leave a comment what you guys think about this and I will see